so greetings from Italy. Wish you were here. This is obviously not my normal bedroom. I'm currently in a traditional, truly building, um, which is part of our villa that we're staying in here in Puglia in Italy. We are having an amazing time. I'm here with my parents and Mark. We're here for the week. By the time you see this, I would have just got back. Um, honestly, literally like one of the best weeks. Just hashtag making memories all over the shop. Um, you will see the vlog, hopefully at some point next week. It's coming and also like a Southern Italy travel guide. Mark and I have actually been here before and we're staying so close to when we were here last time. Like it's literally just 20 minutes up the road and we're just eating pasta, eating pizza, having at least one ice cream a day and just loving it. So I know my April favourites last weekend, I said that I'd done some pre-filming magic and I had a makeup declutter video coming for you this weekend. Well, that kind of didn't happen because we left on Saturday at 5am and I just left myself the Friday to film that declutter and it was just one of those days. It was not going to happen so I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a holiday get ready with me or a declutter and you basically all DM me and said both. So don't worry, the declutter is coming probably sometime next month because I'm traveling quite a bit during the month of May and bringing you like stuff to do with that. So it will come, but I thought in the meantime I would do this holiday get ready with me and sort of show you what's in my makeup bag first and then sort of throw it on my face because I feel like when you're away there's sort of two looks. This sort of holiday is sort of split into three parts almost. There's like the morning lunchtime bit where we've like gone out and just wandered around a new town and like had a bit of an adventure, had an ice cream. Then we tend to come back and had a bit of lunch and like chill time at the pool. And then we tend to go out for evening dinner, like shower, sort ourselves out and then go out for dinner. So I kind of have this like morning, very light makeup look that I throw on, like not really too much, literally just a bit of base, a bit of mascara, lip balm really. And then in the evening I do something a little bit more. I mean, I say full on, it's not full on, just something a little more polished, a little bit more groomed. And when I'm away, if I was ever doing a beach holiday, I would do not wear makeup to the beach, like, oh, I do not need that melting down my face. But sometimes it's nice just to like freshen yourself up a bit. So I'm kind of going to talk you through what I do for more of an evening look, but tell you the steps that I would not add in or things I would change if I was doing more of my like daytime look. So let's talk through some things. Um, first, I wanted to talk skincare. I've been using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial moisturizer cream thing, the SPF 30. I've it decanted out into a little bottle, so I always use that during the day. And then I'm loving the Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. It's what I've got on my skin now. And this is more of something that I would put on. You know when you like, you have a shower, maybe you've like done your hair, your skincare's all washed off, and then you just wanna put a bit of a base on, a bit of a moisturizer before you go out in the evening. This is so great for that. I wish they did a body one because it just leaves you looking all glowy and lovely. Love it. Then base wise, I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream in the shade Light. I mean, that is well on its way out. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade number two Light. Um, this is great for more of the evenings. I wouldn't wear this during the day. It would make me look so greasy. I have two concealers, because if I'm honest right now, I'm not having a good skin moment. I know I can't really complain. My skin is quite well behaved most of the time, but I'm having real issue on my chin and in the crease of my nose, ouch. One of those major painful ones. I've been having those spots that are really like bumpy and there's nothing really in there and they're very painful. So two concealers, the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Light, and then also the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. Both of those are a little bit light when I've got a little bit of tan going on, but I can make it work. The Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade 2 Soleil. This is a new product to me, I've never tried this before. I really like it, it's got quite a yellowy undertone to it, and it just oh, looks gorgeous on the skin. For brows, I've got the It Cosmetics Brow Power and the Hourglass. Arch Brow Shaping Gel in the shade Clear. You've seen both of those before. For mascara, I've got the Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara by Lancome, which I mentioned in my April favorites, and holy cow, this stuff is incredible. I'll show you later on, oh my word, absolutely loving it. Um, I bought along this with me. Um, I was actually sent it, it's from Bobbi Brown. It is their Long Wear Sparkle Stick in the shade Molten Bronze. Used this the other night and I was like, oh my word, that is shimmery, it's got like, silver glitter in it, I did not realise, I kind of put it on, couldn't go back. Um, so I would suggest using this perhaps more like on your hand first and like brushing it on with a finger or a brush or just not applying it all over the lid and blending it in like I did unless you want something quite intense on the eyes. And then for lips, I've got the Glossier Mint Balm.com. 
might be a new favourite. Very light tingly on the lips, enjoying it. And the Laura Mercier Villa Extreme Matte Lipsticks. I've got the shade Vibe, which is the one that I wear all the time. And then this is new. I think it's part of their like summer collection. It's in the shade Chicas. Love the name. This is a great sort of like Mac Morange bright orange, really. It's not even too red. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the lips, but like I said, I'm gonna do more of this sort of evening -y look. Oh my word, I've been talking for six and a half minutes. Right, let's get on. Word on hair, like who can be bothered to do their hair when they're away? Not me. Um, so, evening stuff. The first thing I do is put on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I sort of apply this, like here, here, just sort of stroke it around my face. I don't go too crazy with it. Because this stuff, the first time I got it, I applied it all over my face, I looked like Tin Man. I feel like it needs to be blended in with something else and then it just gives you that gorgeous evening, like look at me, I'm on holiday glow. So then I take my It Cosmetics and I take one pump, maybe? I take it on a Zoeva buffer brush. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you. I'll blend this in and then I'll show you the tools that I bring because I really don't bring that much. But I sort of do the mix of the two products whilst it's on my face. And I feel like those two things together just bring glow like no other. Like, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, I'm rocking some mild Tin Man vibes there, but I'll like powder it down a little bit in a minute. Um, so I always bring like a little mirror with me. They're so handy because in here there isn't a mirror to grab. Um, and then I've got the Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. Awesome, love that. The Beauty Blender, which is just great, especially for like daytime makeup when you just wanna shear it out a lot. And also for concealer, I often use it for that. This is a new brush to me, I love it. It's the Zoeva 90 Luxe Grand Powder Brush. So good for bronzer. I've been using my MAC 150 brush, I think it is, for years. I've had that for about 10 years but it still <laughs> sheds. 10 years later, it still sheds, and I'm picking like little black hairs off of my face. It drives me insane. This doesn't shed at all and applies bronzer beautifully, so this is a new favorite for me. I've got my tweezers, nail scissors, always so handy. My Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Um, this is good in case I just wanna do like a wash of something over the eye or blend out that cream stick. And then my Surat eyelash curlers, which are just so for concealer, I sort of use a mix of the Glossier and the NARS, and um, partly because that colour just gives me like a more accurate colour for what I currently am right now. Um, and also somebody left a comment, I think it was under a blog post, and they were like, I really like the mix of the two. So she kind of dabs a little bit of the Glossier on, and then she goes over the top with the NARS. And then that way you sort of get coverage and glow, and it just blends like a dream and you get a bit of everything. And then I just blend that in either with my finger or a beauty blender. I mean, a beauty blender literally takes a matter of seconds. I think one of the reasons I love using the Charlotte Tilbury is you get that glow sort of here, like at the top of your nose. And I don't really get that with anything else. I just feel like it really brightens up the face. But I get that, especially in the light right now, it's looking a little, like you could fry an egg on my face. So the Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder, it's a good one because it's matte, it's got no shimmer in, and it's kind of gonna help to powder, sort of, in a way. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna put this all over my face, but just sort of dab in the brush. I obviously do my cheeks. I love the shape of this brush. It's kind of a overly shape, so you can sort of just stroke it onto your cheeks, and you're sort of done. And then I take my Beauty Blender, and just blend out those cheeks so they're not as a uh, palooza. So I leave the base there. I feel like you've kind of got the highlight going on from just naturally being quite warm. I feel like I've got the blush going on from already being quite warm, so that is base done. If I was to do like my daytime base, I've really, really, really been enjoying the Glossier Stretch Concealer, literally on its own with the Kabuki, dabbed in, sort of just blended out, and I find that just evens everything out, gives me a little bit of glow. That is enough for during the day. I don't really want anything more on my face. That's gonna move around enough as it is, and I just sort of press it in, good to go. Maybe a little bit of bronzer sometimes, but I just sort of leave it there so it's very easy to reapply SPF if I need to. One step that I have been doing AM and PM is my brows, I don't know what it is. I went through a phase of just using like a gel on my brows and being like, yeah, they're, they're fine as they are, but actually, maybe it's something to do with the summer, I'm not sure. I quite like this full 
looking brow and my brows are a little bit unruly at the moment I do need to go and get them sorted and get them threaded and so sort of having that backup a pigment behind them really helps them to look a little bit more groomed yeah I'm kind of happy with that so although I did bring my brow gel with me I haven't been using it I've just been making sure that they're sort of groomed in the right direction they've got a bit of this backup color in case they do go a bit skew with and um, yeah, quite happy with them as they are. So during the day, I leave my eyelids bare. I don't want anything going on on there. I actually haven't bought my primer with me because I ordered it off of Space NK and it didn't arrive before I came. Um, so anything that I do put on my lids is probably going to crease. And so during the day, I don't bother with that. Like I said, this Bobbi Brown one, I'll show you on the back of my hand just so you can see like what we're working with here. I mean, it is a beautiful color. But look at that sheen. I feel like I need to experiment with it and I'll report back to you because I feel like it would look really gorgeous, sort of blended out and just not as full on <laughs> as I was wearing it. My mum really liked it. She was like, oh, I think that looks really nice. But it was just a little bit full on for me. Um, so one way I like to sort of add something to the eyes, like I said, this is going to crease, but I only need it on for a couple of hours before we come back and play like a world championship of Uno anyway. And this sort of streamlines your holiday makeup bag a bit. It's just to use your bronze. I kind of like a warm brown smoky eye anyway and so I just take that on these over brush that I showed you earlier dab that all over my lid and there you go you've got like instant eyeshadow I think this Laura Mercier color is really nice actually perfect something on the lids and you didn't even need to bring an extra eyeshadow with you I'm tempted maybe to take some of that oh I might just pop it in the center of the lids oh yeah that's nice I'm not sure if you can really see, but that has just added a nice bit of shimmer to things. There you go. I've come a bit closer so you'll be able to see the wonderfulness that is the long con mascara. It is just so good. Um, I picked this up from Boots. I have a feeling it's exclusive to Boots in the UK currently. Um, I think it was £23. And then I also bought the miniature. I should have bought that on holiday. That makes much more sense than bringing along the full size. And that was £13. Um, but it's, it's really good, guys. I don't think I look like Alana, like her lashes are another level, but I'll do one eye and then I'll report back. I just absolutely love it. I feel like the brush sort of clumps them in a good way, in like the perfect way for the way that my eyelashes like naturally grow. Um, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. Um, the only kind of annoying thing is that the brush is big, so I feel like you do have to be quite careful at not getting it all over your eyeshadow if you did your eyeshadow first. Um, but aside from that, I have zero complaints. For lips, I actually put on the Glossier Mint Balm.com earlier. Um, so they've sort of got a bit of something to them. I'm going to go for the pink today. The vibe. I just, well, that was my stomach. <laughs> I just like something very easy on the lips, especially if I'm eating lots of pasta. I like to wear it with this Glossier underneath because this is almost like a matte lip balm. And so I feel like the combination of these two products, like these on their own are quite matte, which I like. But because we're away, you know, you wanna look moisturized and hydrated. I sort of like that it's got a bit more to it. So that is it. That completes my holiday get ready with me slash what's my makeup bag slash two in one morning, evening makeup tutorial. It wasn't really that, was it? I do feel like basically, maybe I'll put them below. Maybe down in the description box, I will put the products that I use in the morning and then the products that I use for more of my evening look. And that way you can you can decipher between the two. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Like I said, my Italy vlog and also the like travel guide blog post will be up um, very soon. And next weekend's video is gonna be a packing video slash mini haul because I am off to Vegas, I know. I cannot believe it, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world at the moment, all this traveling is just the dream. Um, but thank you for watching and I'll see you then, bye.